pitiful. Uh, what? Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. Why did you destroy those weaklings? They're just kids. But I, there were three of them, and they have strong quirks, and I am just one quirkless. That doesn't matter. You lost three times today. I must say, I'm very unimpressed. What's your name? Izuku Midoya? Wait, Midori? Mm. No. Perhaps. What? <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing. So, why do they beat you up? I protected some kid they were bullying before and you lost the fight. Yes. There's no reason to fight on the behalf of others if you can't win. But if I didn't, they would just beat him up like they did you. Have you noticed that that boy is gone? He abandoned you to get beat up. I, I never thought of it like that. I just wanted to be a hero. <laughs> I've been in this world far. At least two weeks. And all I can say is I'm very disappointed in what I've seen. <sighs> so, you just need a strong quirk to be worth anything. Mm, I don't believe that. Why not? Ah, uh, yes. I can teach you to be strong, but you're going to have to do something for me. Uh, well, no, what would that be? You'll find out once your training is complete. Get up. But I can't move. Get up. I can't. Either you get up, or I crush you where you lay right now. Yes, yes, you do. Lifts up his foot and proceeds to stop on Izuku. Izuku, having no choice but to dig deep and uh, find his inner strength to roll out of the way and get back up. You do. Yeah, you said you couldn't move. I proved you wrong. Let's go. But what about my... What? My mom? I can't just go with somebody and... <sighs> Fine. Fine. Well, go to your home first. As, yeah, Inko, upon seeing your judo, with her son, she already is scared as hell. Also, seeing that he has bruises and scrapes, she's even more worried. Like, what did you do to my son? Your son got his ass whooped by a bunch of uh, snot nosed brats, and I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. What? Is him looking down? Why did you tell me you were being bullied? Because he has pride. I can respect that, at least. Either way, I shall take him up 
as my student for a time being, once I feel like he's matured enough, you'll see him again. What? Oh, yes. Until I deem him worthy of walking back here. You're not going to see your son for a long time. But wait, you, you can't do that! Oh, can't I? Do you really think anyone can stop me? She is about to call police. He's like, Mom, I want to do this. What? He can teach me how to be a hero. What's so funny? He's still on that hero nonsense. I'm going to teach you to become strong, not a hero. There is a difference. What you do with the strength I give you is your business. But don't mistake me for a hero teacher. If I train someone, it's so they can obtain power that they couldn't even think of possessing without me. <laughs> Though there are exceptions to that. Uh, right, he's going to teach me how to become stronger. Um... Is it good? I'm not sure this is a good idea. Come on, please. Please let me do this. I promise I'll come back as soon as my training is over. If you survive it. What? I say you could die from my training. Uh, Mom, I'm sure he's joking. <laughs> right? No. Oh no, what, what? He's like, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. <sighs> okay, but you had to make me a promise. Okay. You have to come back home alive once your training is done. And you just eyeing your Jiro. Oh. You are to go easy on him. <laughs> oh, I promise nothing. Whether your son comes back home to you or not depends on him. If he's strong enough to survive my training, good. If he's not, well, at very least you have one less mouth to feed. Them leaving. Inko finds her knees scared for the future. You really didn't have to say that to my mom. You would rather I lied to her? That's not very nice. <laughs> hmm. Izuka Midoriya, huh? Interesting. As on day one of Izuku's training, he has to fight a pack of wolves. Remind you, Izuku is four at this time. Yujiro just watches in the background. Any wolves come his way, he just kicks them towards Izuku. So, yeah. Izuku runs up a tree. Yujiro cuts down that tree. And this is, continues over and over and over again until pretty much a whole cluster of trees is gone. And Izuku has no choice but to fight. This keeps going on for days. Izuku. Luckily, these are normal wolves. <laughs> So he left out there, but when it comes to him actually hurting them, he can't. Him getting bitten, scratched, as well as mm, 
pretty much almost definitely almost uh, torn to shreds. Luckily, he is a smart boy, which he ends up utilizing his environment to kill each and every wolf. Yujiro, though Izuku did win the fight, Yujiro is kind of pissed that uh, you just used your environment. Smart and resourceful, but not what I had in mind. As then, Izuku hears some whimpering as one of the wolves that are close to death have a pup. Yujiro, well, looks like you have a new friend. What? Yes. He's your responsibility now. Are you say Wait, so I can keep it? Of course. I don't see no reason not to. He'll die if you don't. Joe having a heartwarming smile. Though, who, considering who he is and the fact that we know how he is, you know that has sinister intentions. As time goes by, though, yes, people do wonder where Izuku went. Inko just says he uh, went to a different school. He got accepted into a different kind of school. Everyone uh, thinking, okay, well, that, I guess that excuse will work for us but for now. As years go by, and Izuku's training just gets more and more difficult. Though, yes, he does, for lack of a better word, enjoy his time with his new uh, wolf pup. Ugh. He has gotten more used to roughing it out in the wilderness and through a bunch of trial and error finds out what he can eat and what he can't eat. Uh, let's just say luckily he did know how to extinguish poison as well as distinguish the difference between oak and Poison oak and poison ivy. Uh, let's just say there was a lot of itchy days in which he wish he uh, was home safe. While well, Yujiro is pretty much just watching Izuku become much less of a weakling. Though he's impressed by his growth, he is also somewhat disappointed. Yeah, Izuku's gotten a lot stronger compared to how he was before, but you can just chuck that up from growing up and being in an environment where he has to toughen up. In which he has gotten better at killing things with his bare hands, not needing to rely on his environment itself, but more his own brute strength and techniques he learns from each animal as it fights. Adapting from the wolf, coyote, hell, as well as foxes, bears, anything that he actually does end up fighting. Yujiro, he sees something very surprising. Why it's easy to is, and if I would, let's say, a mama bear. Yeah. Izuku accidentally killed one, uh, her cub. And yeah, mama's uh, out for vengeance. When Izuku is about to get axed off, his pet wolf does end up jumping in and getting hurt in the process, causing Izuku to get very upset and one shot the bear ripping out its heart and that is what Yujiro was waiting for Izuku 
by this time he is 12. So you can get angry. <laughs> oh, that's what I love to see. He really cares about that dog. Hmm. This could be fun. Did you? Oh. He decides to. On Izuku's 13th birthday. That just to give Izuku a bit of a break from taking care of his wolf. I'll take him out for a walk. Izuku? Blindly trusting Yujiro? Despite you saying that, yeah, he does not give a damn if I die or anything. It's... Yeah. He's very open to interpretations and thinking Yujiro isn't as bad a guy as he possibly thought. This way he does come back with that wolf pup. He does notice that Where's this cut come from? Uh, oh, I did that. What? Why? He bit me. That's impossible. And what makes you say that? He would never bite anyone. Oh, you'll be surprised. A cornered animal will do whatever it takes to survive. You will betray its master. Uh, wait, what? Don't worry about it. <sighs> if anything, I'm hungry. What's for dinner? You're cooking again. I've been cooking your food and my food ever since we got here what's your point don't you think it's your turn to start helping with the cooking <laughs> you really said that didn't you what you little bastard you really Try to tell me what to do? I, uh, I, uh, I mean, it, it's only fair as, yeah, he still gets backhanded by Yujiro and falls into a ravine. Izuku had no choice but to grab on to the cliff wall with all his strength and not fall to the bottom. In which he has to climb back up. Still hurting from getting backhanded. But also, I, I might need to keep my mouth shut from... <sighs> Strange, he didn't seem... In the moment, he seemed to really not care about who I was. Only getting his point across... <sighs> He's maturing fast, but still ain't worth a damn yet. I might have to wrap up this training of his. As now, for the next year, up until Izuku turns 14, yeah, he's fighting quirked animals now. I remember, no weapons, barehanded. He doesn't even use the environment anymore. He just channels his more ruthless behavior, which surprisingly works for him. Jiro, of course, he's wondering where is that anger? Where's that hatred he showed? Hmm. I'm gonna have to do something more drastic. Just looking at the wolf as it's fully grown by now. 
pretty much as tall as Izuku is. <sighs> oh well. Boy, I'm gonna take uh, your dog for a walk. It's a wolf. Don't get sassy with me. We'll be back. It is yes, you. Upon let's say thirty minutes later, he comes back holding a box. Izuku surprised that I go, wait, where's where's my wolf? Oh, he's close by. Ah, uh, you'll see him soon enough. But to commemorate your fourteenth birthday, I brought you a little gift. Oh, really? <laughs> it's it's great. Uh, I didn't think you'd be so nice. Oh, yes, I. I can be quite caring, what I want to be. Okay, so. Hmm. So, you got me selling for my birthday. Uh, let's see it. Well, being your master, I decided uh, to give you something to remind you. Or at least teach you something. Okay, what is it? Um, do I finally get to use weights or something? It's something to teach you what love gets you. But what hate can truly give you. Him opening the box showing that it is the severed head of Izuku's wolf. Izuku falls to his knees and his tears start to envelop his whole face as he yells at what have you done? Sorry, but your dog had to be put down. And then Izuku just looks at Yujiro with all the hatred in the world. He did nothing to you. All he did was be my friend, my first real friend after so many years. Well just shows how shitty you are picking your friends. I, I, your friend was weak. And so are you. I, I, in fact, I'm starting to think that training you was nothing but a waste of my time and effort. Train me. What you did is throw me to the wolves. To every beast in this forest. Oh, yes. Surprised you lasted this long. So I guess I might as well do the world a favor and kill you. Don't worry about your mother. She'll weep over your passing, but she'll join you soon after. Yujiro socking Izuku right in the face, but instead of sending him flying, Izuku flips. Well, he spins and kicks Yujiro square in the face. As they are both spinning midair, Izuku stops and drop kicks him. Yujiro grabbing it and starting to slowly squeeze on Izuku's leg. Izuku cutting Yujiro's wrist. Getting to let go, but also like, what the hell, you actually hurt me. And then Izuku's whole demeanor changes. He's not smiling. 
He just has a blank expression on his face. Yujiro's wondering, okay, so where was this? Oh well. I guess some people are supposed to die. What? I n you you're different something's changed about you as yes Izuku he turns his back toward Yujiro him wondering wait are you running away until he sees something form on Izuku's back slowly as his muscles are turning into a face of a demon, they are turning into wings or feathers. Him wondering what is that? First, Izuku just raises his arms. It looks like an angel about to take off. But then as soon as he lowers them, it is an angel descending. As Izuku vanishes right in front of Yujiro's eyes, and Yujiro is wondering, so this is what he meant. And then he eats a whole pile of dirt. Then he gets kicked in the balls, which, though it hurts, it doesn't hurt nearly as much as a, you know, compared to other nut shots in the Bucky series. Is yes, Izuku, he is not laying up on any of these punches, kicks, scratches, biting to the point where Yujiro is pretty much overwhelmed all at once. He sees Izuku's eyes just glowing, him having nothing but pure malice as Izuku starts weeping. Again, Yujiro's like, what? Why are you crying? I pity you. <laughs> what? I pity you, Yujiro Hanma. <sighs> you really have some steel balls on you now, don't you? As Yujiro raises up his arms, his shirt rips, and then he unleashes his demon back. As he rushes Izuku, Izuku's already gone, and backhands him into the ravine. As Yujiro is plummeting towards the bottom, Izuku is quickly behind him, and he is unleashing a flurry of punches and kicks to the point where Yujiro is starting to see a flashback. What do you mean you won't fight me? You seem a lot more powerful than any of the other sad excuses for humanity here. <laughs> yeah, you may be right, but I'm not the right opponent for you. But I do know one who could, uh, would be quite a bit of a challenge, even for you. <laughs> if you're going to say he's a Hama, you are sorely mistaken. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Believe me, I know all about you, your demon bag and whatever. And though, yes, a demon can defeat a demon, more often than not, it's going to be a tie or a standstill. <laughs> what you need to really vanquish a demon isn't a demon, a devil, or even a man. You need something divine. What you need is someone who bears the wings of an angel. Pfft. 
So, that's what he meant. As he looks up, and he sees these beautiful silhouette of wings descending upon him, he has no joy but to really smile. Looks like this is how I die. Can't say I'm disappointed. Wait, what did I just say? Is Yujiro still falling? Yezuku is wailing on his ass. As Yujiro finally snaps out his trans. What did I just say? I am not giving up like this. This is not how I'm gonna die. Cowering over a child. As. Zuku is still punching and kicking the shit out of Yujiro. He grabs onto the wall of the cliff and pretty much chokes Izuku, slams him into the wall with his arm and, and runs up the ravine with Izuku still being dragged further. So, yeah. When they meet at the top, Izuku is still full on angel wings blaring at Yujiro, and he is using his demon back to its fullest, much to the point where each punch they deal each other is shock waves. They are digging in their own grave as the fight continues. Izuku sure is how he's letting up, and Yujiro. Hell no. He's pushing his back to its limit while Izuku seems to have pretty much be running out of steam. And Jiro notices this. He just remembers, that's right. He's never used this before. He's still new to it. This power has just recently been unlocked, so it still hasn't matured like my back. So yeah, Yujiro, though he knows Izuku is more or less of matching him, all he has to do is outlast him, which is easier said than done, considering that each blow he deals Izuku, Izuku has a counter. If not, Izuku is still using Shadowity. Eh, or at least something similar towards it. Yujiro? He has no choice but to use Shiori as well. Pretty much making it so Izuku is getting hit with his own attacks, only multiplied by Yujiro's strength. As, yeah, this fight carries on for two more hours. Is yeah, Izuku is clearly showing signs of fatigue for using this power uh, a little bit too long for his first time. As Yujiro is just pretty much trying to hang on to whatever edge he can obtain. So this is pretty much, uh, let's see who gives up first. Let's see whose will is stronger. First one to be exhausted loses. As yes, they chalk it down to one more punch. A shockwave can be heard. Trees are being shaken. Hell, the wildlife is long gone due to sheer bloodlust. Jiro is admitting while Izuku is pretty much. It is similar to Bloodlust, but more along the lines of it's directed towards Yujiro. However, with his last punch, Izuku is completely exhausted. He cannot throw a single punch more. Yujiro, thanks to his years of experience and whatnot, he he can still keep going. He could kill Izuku right then and there, but he is tuckered out. 
the amount of effort that it might take to kill Izuku could kill Yujiro. So he just sits down and takes a breath while Izuku is sleeping. And yeah, that's how their fight ends. As soon as Izuku wakes up, he is terrified, wondering, am I dead? Seeing Yujiro with cuts and bruises, scrapes, what happened? Are, are you alright? You! What? Wait, what? You happened! What, what do you mean? Izuku finally remembering you. Huh? It is yes, Izuku's aura starts to flare up again. Yujiro can tell by the way his arms are starting to move and rotate. It's like, oh no, 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 not again. I'm too tired for this bullshit. Don't tell me he's getting his second win already. Wait, wait, wait. No, you say you're gonna kill me and my mom. <sighs> okay. Your mom's still alive, and of course you are too. <sighs> Good. So, what happened to you again? <clears throat> Bastard. You happened to me. You did this to me. Really? Don't get cocky. Hmm. You don't seem to really remember anything. Interesting. But yeah. Or at least you proved to be at least worth fighting, I guess. <sighs> So yeah, I won't kill you or your mom. So you really were gonna... Oh yes. I killed my son's mom. <laughs> if anything. That was much more... Just a lot of fire in him. But it didn't do the same thing... That happened to you. <sighs> At the very least, I wasn't disappointed. I must say, Izuku Midoriya, you impressed me. Your power is quite interesting. It's different from mine. What? <sighs> My back bears the face of a demon while you bear angel wings. For some reason, your buffs are. if nothing. far superior to mine. It's just that your body isn't mature enough. What? Ah, think of it like this. My body is naturally strong. Even while I was a newborn, I could speak without uttering a word. My back grants me I can't deny a fair amount of boost in power, strength, speed. Yours matched mine, and it was only your first time using it. Wait, what? You heard me. For some reason, you're angelic power was 
was not only a match for mine, but your bus made it so you and I were equals. Even for a moment, me and you were on equal terms, equal footing. Wait, so if I, if you train this enough, if you mature, if you actually ripen this ability, who knows who you'll be able to match. But for some reason, you definitely wanted to kill me. If I didn't snap out of it, you would have. What? <sighs> Never mind. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> go home. What? You can go home. So my yeah. Well, uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else I can really teach you. You're gonna have to do everything else yourself. R really? Yeah. I get out here before I change my mind and kill you. Uh, right. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, so much, uh, sir. Just get out of here. And as soon as he go gets a knock at the door, she's worried, as you can imagine. She slowly opens the door, saying, "Please, please don't be him. Please don't be him. Please be my son." Seeing Izuku's new appearance, that yes, he's taller, he's jacked as all hell. She's like, "Are you? Are you my son?" Hey mom, I'm back. Seeing all the scars on him, but still having such a cheerful expression on his face, she cries tears of absolute joy, but also worrisomeness. Asking him so many questions like, what happened to you? Are you alright? What did that man do to you? He kept his promise. I'm strong now. <sighs> At least stronger. Why do you look so upset? I I don't know. Feels as though I'm supposed to do something. I You know what? I'm gonna go bed. Uh, sure, um, I get your room clean. It's just the way it was before. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Her taking him to his room because he sure as hell forgot after all this time where it was. But seeing all that all my stuff, he gets flashbacks to some of his training days in which Yujiro did end up throwing him to the wilderness to defend for himself is <laughs> why are you doing this how are you going to be strong if you just hope for someone to go and save you I sure as hell ain't But I, you want to be a hero, I get that, but who's going to save the hero when they need help? Citizens, no, 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 from what I've seen, they're too reliant on heroes now. <laughs> None of them has the drive to take the initiative and save someone. And the heroes from what I've seen here are nothing but actors. Who knows me? Even All Might is one of them. What? Oh, 
I struck a nerve. You heard me. Well, you know, All Might is nothing but a very good actor. Have you ever noticed of all his fights, he's always had cameras rolling, people cheering his name. Do you think he would save you right now? I, exactly. For all you know, All Might is just as bad as the fame-chasing, wealth-mongering heroes that this world has seemed to generate. If you want to be a hero, you better be ready. You want to save people. <laughs> Be prepared for the consequences. Yeah, they'll cheer for you when you're winning. But it's when you lose, when you fail, is when they turn on you. You're not a hero anymore in their eyes. You're a failure. No. Excuse me. I'm going to prove you wrong. <laughs> About what? That people will stick with you no matter what happens. That if you fail, the people will still love you. Wake up! That's not how this works. Their love is not unconditional. Oh, there are your parents who don't give their children the love they should. Look at me. Look at my son's mother. The only reason my son was born is so he would fight me. Beat me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can say I, I did good enough. You started out with nothing more than some gum I should just scrape off my shoe, but... He... Uh, he evolved enough to at least be able to look me in the eye without pissing his pants. <sighs> so, you want to prove me wrong? Go ahead. But that wouldn't mean you would have to face some pretty dangerous people. And risk losing not only the fight, but the love of the citizens you're trying to protect. By all means, try and prove me wrong, but once you realize I'm right, I expect a full apology on your knees. Yeah, um, Izuku? <coughs> Uh, what was it, um, uh, Mom? Are you alright? Huh? Oh, right. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. I just. Uh, uh, just uh, a little. Daydreaming. That's all. Are you, oh, okay. Uh, well, welcome home. I'm glad to see that you're okay. Safe and sound. Uh, should we roll you back in school? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. School, I forgot all about that. 
all this time. <sighs> what? I'm going to do some studying if I'm going to keep up with everyone else. What? So you haven't been doing... Have you only been learning how to fight? No. Oh, good. I've been learning how to survive. What? <sighs> so many sleepless nights. Cold. Dark. <sighs> but, yeah. It was all worth it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I made it back alive, so... Uh, at the very least, I passed. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know how to... how to uh, process this, but... You know, you're happy, I, I guess. And you're sure all you learned is going to be good enough for you to get into UA and everything. Like, yeah. <laughs> Believe me, Mom. Yeah, I, I'm going to be good and ready to... <sighs> Believe me. Compared to what I had to go through, school is going to be a, rock, a walk in the park. <laughs> okay. That's, that's good. Good to know. So, tomorrow we'll get you enrolled in school and see how things progress. Is Izuku, he does some rearranging in his room before he just heads off to bed. Upon laying his head on an actual pillow, laying in a real bed, he just falls out. He's just out cold like a bear going through hibernation. When he wakes up, he's surprised because, like, wow, that was the best night's sleep I've had in years. Much to the point where, yeah, he's late. When he gets there, everyone looking at him, wondering, like, who the hell is that? It's only when the teacher does roll call and he answers to Izuku Midoriya, everyone looks at him like, Excuse me? Everyone seeing this mountain that is Izuku? What the hell happened to you? Bago upon hearing like, wait, you're Izuku Midoriya. Yeah. Wait, who are you? <laughs> you bastard. How dare you forget who I am, Deku? Deku? You! Oh, so you finally remember as Bongo's desk ends up destroyed. Him narrowly being able to dodge. Izuku's punch, and everyone looking at him like, what the hell's wrong with you? Bago's burning up the explosions, and he, Izuku eats them. Bago, shocked, like, how are you still standing? Izuku just grabbing him by the throat, he starts to strangle Bakugo, and what? Ow! What are you? You have a quirk? No. I'm just better than you. Slamming him to the ground and kicking him to the wall. And he sits back down. Everyone shocked at what happened. The teacher, no fighting during class? Please? Izuku pissed, but also... Okay, I'll be respectful. And yeah, he just sits down. Bogo doesn't have a desk anymore, so he has to stand. Though he doesn't 
picking on another kid and getting him to get out of his chair. So, that still happens. And, yeah. Now we cut to the end of middle school. When everyone hears that Izuku wants to go UA, they... Knowing his quirkless do want to make fun of him, but ever since he's returned, he's made it clear that he is not with that. He's not going to tolerate any disrespect. Bakugo trains a lot harder just so he doesn't get clowned by Izuku again. If anything, he's uh, definitely wants a rematch with Izuku. He just doesn't know. Okay, how can I beat this bastard? Whenever he does challenge Izuku, Izuku either ignores him, one shots him, or pretty much scares him stiffless with a single glance. When it comes to Bogo's little goons, they don't back him up. They don't want to risk getting their asses whooped. Izuku is a lot more popular here, though he doesn't really care about it. He doesn't really want to be famous in school or anything. He just wants to get this over with so he can start his hero career. The sooner the better. The only thing is, he feels something's off. Especially when he goes home. Like someone's watching him. As then the slush villain attacks him and Izuku just one shots him. Not even a contest. It, it's actually pretty sad. But when it comes to him returning home, he stops himself from Alright, come on, show yourself. So, you're the one. Hmm? Who are you? I'm Jack. Jack Hanma. Really? Hmm. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. So, you're my, uh, master's son? Yes. So you're the one he decided to teach. Yep, nice to meet you. <sighs> you're pretty polite. Are you sure my dad teaches you? It doesn't seem like he had much of an impression. Though I can tell you're... Not like any other person here. You're different. Nothing malicious. More like benevolence. Oh, you must be talking about. Yeah. During my last lesson. Master Yujiro, I uh, woke up, you could say. What? At least my back did. <laughs> what? You have. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't be serious. You have a demon back. No? Of course not. Oh. Mine's stronger. <coughs> what? Yeah, my back is stronger than his. He actually confirmed it for me. I You're lying. Why would I have to lie? You could ask him next time you see him. Brett, could you tell him I said hi? <sighs> You're serious. You're, I don't hear any, any changes in your heartbeat or anything. You're, you're not lying. 
You're really saying that your back is stronger than... Yeah. Um, why are you looking at me like that? Fight me. Wait, what? You heard me. Fight me. I need to test this myself. But I... I don't want to fight you. Why? I don't want to hurt you.